I will eat my neighbors. I'm not letting my kids die. I'll, I'm just going to be honest. My superpowers being honest, I've extrapolated this out, and I won't have to for a few years since I got food and stuff, but I'm literally looking at my neighbors now and going, I'm ready to hang them up and gut them and skin them and chop them up. And you know what? I'm ready. My daughters aren't starving to death. I'll eat my neighbors. See, my superpowers being honest, I'll eat your ass. I will. I'm combat model, optimum self-sufficiency, probably the leader. The point is, is have you thought about that yet? Because I'm somebody that thought I could fix this, and I'm starting to think about having to eat my neighbors. You think I like sizing up my neighbor, how I'm going to haul him up by a chain and chop his ass up? I'll do it. My children aren't going hungry. I will eat your ass. And that's why I want the globalists to know. I will eat your ass first. That's for the people that have food. And that food will run out shortly. You gotta remember, the food's gonna run out. People are gonna rob, steal, and kill. Matter of fact, let's pull a verse. For you fucking scaredy cat ass people that didn't want to get on your how about see me outside. And this is Deuteronomy 2853. Remember, Deuteronomy was when we went back into Egypt in the beginning. So, Shalom, I wasn't going to do this type of video. I was going to do a quick one from my Snapchat. But, Shalom, y'all, I'm about to see me outside. Brakata, Yahweh, Brakata, Yahushai, Brakata. To the Akim, Wahakim, after keeping his word, truth, and all sincerity. Teaching the downfall Esau, the two thirds is wicked queendom and these heathens. I'd like to give a double honor to the. To the uh, Habayashah, Dawud Da, the house of David, Kwame Asha'ala, arise Israel, Lama Lama forever and ever. Deuteronomy 28 and 53. You know, this is why they call it Jacob's trouble. Jacob is going to be in the most trouble. And thou shalt eat the fruit of thy own body, and the flesh of thy sons and daughters. So you're going to eat the fruit from thy own body. That means you're going to eat your own children. You're going to eat pieces of yourself. You're going to eat your sons and your daughters. So when it's talking about the fruit, it's talking about what you brought forth. I'm talking about your children. That God have given thee in the siege and in the, uh, in the, in the straightness wherewith thy enemies shall distress thee. So your enemies are going to come to kill you. Even your friends are going to come kill you. They don't come cut man. When people get hungry, they're going to fucking eat you. Look, this is Leviticus. Let's get it. Leviticus. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Exodus. Come on, you guys know the shit, right? Leviticus. Come on, get it. Genesis, Exodus. Come on, you got it? So Leviticus 26 and 29. And ye shall eat the flesh of your sons and the flesh of your daughters shall ye eat. Remember. We keep telling you what's to come, but you guys only want to listen to everybody thinking that this is going to get better. It's not fucking going to get better. It is not going to get better. You see, they just keep kicking it back days and days, kicking it back days and days, kicking it back days and days. Pretty soon, the police are just going to allow you to do whatever. They're not going to give a fuck. The reason being is they're in the same situation as you. They're going to start realizing, wait a minute, all these people I was giving parking tickets to and all this shit was in the same situation I'm in. That's why the military is going to come in. That's why the UN's in New York. That's why when I was showing you guys these videos talking about, hey, the UN's in New York, they're hiring people. When I was showing people all this stuff, telling you about this stuff, teaching you about Alex Jones, teaching you about, you know, teaching you about, you know, what was going on when the Most High was giving me prophetic thoughts when, you know, a couple years back when they gave everybody the gay rights to get married. I was even telling them, I was like, yo, this year's about to be one of the craziest years. When all that shit happened, that was, I keep telling y'all, but to everybody want to just deny the things that I'm saying. 
They flushing all your food and stuff down the drain, trying to bring stuff in from other countries. They're trying to make you get servitude. You're already in servitude. You're already bowed down. They didn't build this border wall to keep people out. They kept, built it to keep you fuckers in. How many fucking times do I got to tell you? Why would you build a wall when the Mexicans is great at going under the wall? The tribe of Izakar, that doesn't make sense. They're not trying to really stop no cartels from bringing in drugs. They're not trying to do that. You see, Trump and them don't want to go to war with no cartels, but that's what's going to happen. But, you know, the Bible does say that everybody's going to say, fuck America and go back to their own land. Watch. Watch. This is Isaiah 13 and 14. And it shall be as the chase roe and as the sheep that no man take up. And shall every man turn to his own people and they shall flee to into their own land, to his own land. That's Isaiah 13 and 41. Uh, that's not this one. It's not that one. No, there's another one that says they're going to say that Babylon has fallen. There we go. Babylon can't be healed. I believe this is it. Okay, this is Jeremiah 51 and 9. We'd have, we would have healed Babylon, talking about the Americas and all these other countries as well. But she is not hill forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country for her judgment reaches unto the heaven and is lifted up even to the skies so this place is falling man and it's gonna keep falling it ain't gonna get better it ain't gonna get better for all you people that are like hey and i had said something and I kind of messed it up, but I see it both ways because uh, one of the dudes from GMS said some, uh, he did a video on it. I think his name GMS, maybe not salt, but like GMS, like fast food or some one of them motherfuckers, bro. Um, he said, because he did a video on the strangers. And like I said, the strangers is going to cleave onto the house of Israel. If you know anything about the scriptures. You should know that the strangers are going to clip on. But when it's talking about the strangers, it's talking about both ways. Because it's talking, when it says strangers, it is talking about Israelites. Yes. But the stranger actually talking about the heathens as well are going to be trying to grab on. And you're going to have, like, you're going to have Israelites that are confused face that are going to be grabbing on and saying, hey, no, I'm going to follow in this way. Then you're going to have the ones that, you know, the ones that were in different lands. So they're going to be strangers to you. Nigga, we in the same lands. We in the Americas. And y'all niggas is strangers to me. I don't, you know what I mean? I don't give a fuck. So, you know, you look how we look at each other. eu eyed and stuff. But when it comes to the other strangers, talking about uh, you're going to have the ones that are going to try to cleave on. The ones that are actually, uh, you're going to have actual heathens trying to cleave on you are that are going to try to go their way they're already doing it they're going to try to cleave on and there's nothing wrong with that do let them do it because you know what you don't you don't get to judge whether they are of the two-third you don't get to judge if they are a heathen or not we don't know that's why the bible says that he's going to allow the angels to separate the wheats from the tares you know judged by the spirit the spirit ain't right whatever let it be because a lot of people are coming into the truth saying hey these are my brothers and sisters and y'all might be talking down to them and they might be israelites so you gotta remember confusion of face too the stranger yes the confusion of face niggas is the strangers nigga the strangers that the nigga other israelites that look like us are strangers nigga yes nigga it is so when we say the heathens are going to try to cleave on, yes, heathens are going to try to cleave on. They're going to see a confused face trying to cleave on. And yes, heathens are going to try to cleave on. So 
Make sure when you say everything that you get both sides, the left and the right hand sides when you prophesy. Because you don't want to have no confusion. The most high you how about Shimei and Shai is not the author of confusion. Remember that. And he's in control of everything. All the evil, all the good. Remember. He's in control of everything. Hey, will there be evil done and he not be there? Yes, he's there. So remember, he's in control of everything. So make sure when you prophesy, make sure you include the left and the right hand side. Because otherwise you're going to sound like a hypocrite and you're responsible for every idle word. Yes, there will be heathens cleaving on. Why? Because they're going to follow other people that don't, that look like heathens as well that may not be heathens. And they're going to, like right now, you're going to have people prophesying and saying that they are under your how about Shimmy Ashai, how why you how shy. And just because you see people that look like heathens starting to come out, <clears throat> you better watch them out because some of them might have done their history and realized that, hey, I go back. Remember, man, you're responsible for every idle word that you speak. If you're going to prophesy, prophesy right. Don't prophesy deceit. Because you over here, you might tell somebody that you call them an Edomite, and they might not be an Edomite, call them a Hamite, might not be a Hamite, call them a motherfucking Ammonite, a motherfucking, uh, not Asherite, Asherite. A lot of these people you should call is a car. They ain't is a car, man. A lot of them Aztecs, Spaniards, and the ones that you call is a car, just because you call it a nation. A lot of them are Gadites. A fucking bunch of them are Gadites. I, they all just call themselves Isacard or call themselves Mexican. But then you be like, what is your forefather? Oh, he Yaki. What, what's your grandfather? He Yaki. What's your mom's grandfather? Yaki. So your father's grandfather is Yaki and your mother's grandfather is Yaki. <clears throat> yeah, and so are the wives. So you Yaki. You're not even Mexican. Yeah, but, you know, I'm Mexican. Or they say they're Salvadorian and it's the same thing. They're Yaki Indians. Or they're Tainos or everything else. A lot of us, you don't know who's who, man. So what? You speak that language. You speak that Spaniard. You speak that Roman bullshit. That ain't who you are. And you're going to have people that look just like, remember, you're going to have people that look like Edomites. You're going to have people that look like Judites. The nigga that's standing next to you on that corner that you're screaming with <clears throat> might be an Edomite. Might run back to Esau. You don't know. You know what I mean? So just remember, y'all got to be careful what you say. Because it's going, you need to include the left and the right hand side because you can't leave that, that, that part there where they like, well, I didn't know. He said that we're going to cleave on. <clears throat> yeah, but they're, and then you're telling the ones that might need to cleave on, not to cleave on because how they look. You got to be careful with that. I'm just going to end it there. Shalom, how about Shimmy? I'm shy, brakta, how brakta, I'm shy, brakta.